Okay, the amp's on, I hear it. Now, in, out, out, I don't know what kind of out is out. I'm gonna just say maybe that one. We know this one's in. Sixty four SG Junior or special, sorry, special. That one's called manual and it seems to, I guess it lets you wobble it around yourself. There we go. Oh, so if you have the width down maybe, you can put it where you want it. It is kind of a doubler. So this is like a, more of a tight doubling and here's more of a, a wider space doubling. Oh, I think I might be in the... Yeah, I think I might be in the wrong output for doing mono. Let's try that. settings are too intense for me but there they are if you like them maybe I was in the right output does that sound better
<laughs> I'm still not entirely sure how this knob works in all different settings, but... <laughs> Try some. Turn a second cable to the other input of the amp. Yeah, they're out of phase with each other, but it sounds good. Doesn't it? Maybe not. No. I'm canceling the magic. I got an idea. Let's get this guy involved. I haven't heard this one since I started collecting the other delays for the vintage classic analog delay shootout. Okay. screen yeah it's on screen still not certain which one of those outputs is correct or correctest least incorrect they're both really wobbly I think that one's the more seasick so we'll go with this one. This one should have more clean to it. But some, one of those pots inside has probably also got something to do with that balance. back and forth and which one I think sounds better. I think that's just the pitch modulation. Maybe it's just this room and where I am, but it's kind of hard to tell. Let's get some delay on that. This is unlike any other chorus I have. I don't know if it's working right or if it's working wrong. I was told it's more of a doubling effect, which is absolutely true. Um, I'm very curious to get the next one in 
which is on the way now and see how it compares also to mess around a little bit inside here and see what the switches and such do but this is definitely a unique machine
it's overdriving here. Definitely something among these. the delay it has a little like this wants to push at a high output if I take this off the level drops a lot which is probably another one of the trim pots inside so I think it's this overdriving Okay, a lot of fun playing around here, uh, but let's put the delay away. So as I talked about the shootouts I was doing, um, first delay, um, then phaser, then chorus, perhaps flanger, uh, what is inevitable Obviously, if you go down that path, eventually you're going to get to overdrive. As a subcategory of overdrive, I would like to do a comparison of non-traditional boosts. Um, and, and this is what reminded me of that. You know, these pedals add something to the sound when they're bypassed, um, as does an Echoplex, as does... And MXR flanger. So I'd like to do uh, a non-traditional boost shootout using, you know, stuff like a bypass echoplex and, you know, this guy bypass, things like that. Just to see what, um, like, what kind of sounds are you getting from things boosting your signal that aren't specifically made to be boosts? <laughs> Is that silly? Um, perhaps like the MXR 10 band EQ, you know, even with the EQs nulled, that changes your sound. Now this is live. This is AC. I'm holding a guitar in my hand. Don't do this at home, kids. I shouldn't even be doing it. Don't you want to know what those switches do? I mean, gosh, I do. If you're anything like me, you're just dying to know what those switches do. And I hope I'm not actually going to be in that situation. Man, I'm not actually sure what that does. It's it, it might be adding another doubling to it. This thing sounds like a sitar when it's up all the way. Uh, I seem to have lost my adjusting screwdriver. All right, I'll have to use this one. Let's see what these do. Let's mark where they're at. It's kind of a nice practice right say right here we'll say here and 
there and there okay maybe another way to do it we're going to just draw straight up on these that's straight up that's straight up that's straight up that's straight up straight up now tell me do you really want me to twist these pots around I know I do I need a smaller driver. I don't know where my little is he over here hmm. I lost the little tweaker I had out that was handy we'll use this one maybe no that one's a little big now about this one It's like a delay. Crackly. Not hearing a lot of difference though, honestly. How about this one? That's definitely gain. Okay, so this is the dry signal down and you hear more of the modulated signal. That's the dry signal up and you hear less modulated signal. So this is about halfway like physically on the pot. This is where it was. a little bit more dry. Now, does that do anything when you're bypassed? Do any of them do anything? Not that one. So I kind of like this at the factory settings, except I kind of like, that's a cool alternate sound.
Well, I think this one's going to stay right where it was. So, happy, happy, joy, joy. All right. Okay. Nothing left to do but unplug it, button it back up, turn the 78 person reverb off. Say good night, huh? Well, folks, what a night we've had here. We've coursed, we've delayed, we've tweaked, we've switched, we've screwed, we've soldered. Do you feel accomplished? I do. I feel like this guy is ready to do battle in the upcoming shootout. And he is a strong contender. It very well may be that his greatest contender is his own brother. Sounds like an awesome WrestleMania, doesn't it? So, like I said, there's another one of these coming. It'll be here in any day now. It's also possible that the Clone Theory is going to be a strong contender. Now, I know for sure the CE2 is a strong contender, but it's a different kind of animal. I know for sure that the CE1 is a strong contender, but it's a very different kind of animal. Gosh, I'm just excited to see what happens. I don't know about the DoD chorus. I'm not that familiar with it. I don't know. I feel like it is more of like a wobbly, like, or kind of chorus. But... Um, yeah, I think I just sounded like a European ambulance there for a second, but you get it. Anyway, we'll all find out together in the upcoming days, so let's just wait for that. And in the meantime, um, big yellow MXR stereo chorus out. See ya!